Good morning, guys. Good morning. And the puppies are here too. So we have the puppies, mm -hmm. and Toby just ran over there. And we have um, we're setting up jumps so that we can jump Ruby again, jump us, and jump the puppies. Mm -hmm. Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today we got letters, we got letters from UK. from the UK and uh, from Canada. From Canada and from, I don't know. And from the USA. USA. And from the USA, from the UK, the USA and from Canada. No. We got a letter from Madeline. She watches our videos every day. She's been watching she for two years um, and she can't believe she never sent a letter. She's been writing for nine years. She's 11 years old. That makes her the same age as Gabby. Um, she rides Harley, a chestnut, an 11 year old quarter horse gelding, Smoke. Smoke he so. is a flea bitten gray. I think this is Gabby, I have hardly the first horse. He's a 12 year old, a thoroughbred. He'll show up hardly there. And then that's the quarter horse. Okay. This is Harley and her. He is a thoroughbred quarter horse. And Freddy. Oops, um, where's Freddy? There's Turbo. This is Turbo. That's such a gorgeous picture. I want and to Freddy. take a picture like that. And, and there's a Freddy. Freddie is a 13 year old thoroughbred gelding. And then she also made this. She also has a yearling named Star. Was that Star? No, that's Turbo. Oh. Uh, and she sent us this amazing picture. I love it. Stella and Sophie. With our and logo. I think we should hang that on our wall. We are. Our and wall Storm in our filming room. Gabby. Yeah, that's amazing. And she sent some schleich. Wait, equipment? Equipment, lunging, small horse. And she lives in Canada. Thing for oh, small so horse. cool. It's a lunging. It's a so lunge, lunging rope and halter for Schleich. Thanks, Madeline. Girl is, her name is Ava. She is 10 years old. And she is from the USA, right? She, yeah, she's from the USA, and I ripped the picture. She loves horses. She could say she's a crazy fan of ours, of our YouTube channel. Um, she okay. wants to know how old is Gabby and Sophie? How old she, are Storm and Stella? Okay. Eight and 12. Eight and 12. Stella's 12. Yeah. Obviously. Um, 11 and 11. Yeah, 11 and 11. Well, his is April 5th, 2007, and mine's April 25th, 2007. Yeah, so cool. Um, and then she also drew this picture, which is so cool. Let's see. Oh, I love it. I don't Put know it down whose so I can horse see it. that is. What? I don't know whose horse that, that is. That is Probably cool. Storm. If you guys can see it. So cute. Thanks, Ava. And lastly, we got a letter from the UK, and it is from. We, it's the it's the logo from Zoe 
Uh, she does horseback riding for three years so far. She's 10 years old. Storm is so pretty. Stella too. The horse I ride is called Misty. I love her. And she's from Ireland in Cork. Okay, put it down, put it down. And this Stel is a picture Stella? that she made Storm. with Storm and Stella. Can you do the challenge tack up race? And do more tack store videos. Sophie, I love Stella. Tack store video coming up in this vlog. I know, tomorrow's video. Sophie. Tomorrow's video. I love video. Stella. Sophie, I watch your videos. Can you do a barn tour? Of course. Thanks, Thanks Zoe. Even the little dogs love mail time. Uh, yeah, my hair is red. Gabby just okay. pointed out, Mom, your hair is red. My hair is red because I can never remember the hair color that I buy all the time. So when I go to the store, I'm like, wait, was it this one? Was it this one? Yeah, it was not Mom. this one. <laughs> she, Zoe requested that I do a video on my channel, which I'm making one today. SSL one. And I do what you need for shows. Yeah, that's awesome. I am making um, a, sh I mean, not sh like movie, um, a SSO movie. That's awesome, I can't wait to edit that. Actually, I have that SSO video to edit on Gabby's channel, don't I? Yeah, yeah I'm gonna try and do that today. Um, and they wanna shoot a video. Uh, I have, we have like I have 3,000 I have so many videos to shoot for the month of September, I can hardly wait. We have like a really good list, um, but, uh, our barn at the Humidex, which is the humidity factor where we live, is really high in the next two days. So the um, so we're taking a break from riding. We can't ride for two days because of the humidity. It's not good for us. It's not good for our horses, and especially them because they're doing so much running and work. Um, but we do have some fun stuff to show you. We have a trail ride that we took, and we also have a tack call. Coming up. Outfit of the day, Sophie. So some of you guys may have already seen this gorgeous blue dress. She has two of them now. Somebody gave her one, Rachel. She was wearing this beautiful dress when she came downstairs. I thought it looked gorgeous. And then I saw her socks. <laughs> I thought she was wearing leggings, but it turns out that they're her new horseback riding socks. Even Mine though, are upstairs, I'm wearing them for riding. Even though it's not horseback riding day, she decided that she loved them so much that she wanted to wear them today with your dress, right? It's my first time trying them. Oh yeah. They're amazing. They <laughs> and they will also be included in our tack store shopping adventures from this week, and that's coming up tomorrow. Yeah, we need to hang all these pictures. So, yes, yeah, so I'm uh, in love with this one and that one. Yeah, I, I want to take a picture like this of Storm. All. I know that we could do it. But before we do anything today, we are headed outside to clean the yard. Today is yard cleaning day. So you might want to take your socks off because it is super hot. The dogs can come outside with us and let's get to it. I just wanted to tell you guys really quick before we head outside. Um, you can do anything with the right motivation. Toby, go, go. <laughs> oh my God. It is so hot and humid out here. Whew. Gabby's, we walked outside and Gabby's like, I'm really hot. Can we go back in? Basically, all this hay and straw left over from our trip. Down here? Yep. And over there from the bunnies has to go in this trailer so dad can take it and dump it. Okay? Got it? hot for human human life outside today so hot I don't even know how we survived that but we got the job done I'm proud of you guys proud of you they're writing stuff down you guys on paper and pencil on the table I saw do you guys remember this bitless bridle? It's a side pull. 
we bought it last year for, for uh, Sabrina. Sabrina and it did not fit her and so we kept it. And Gabby's been making really good use of it with Storm. Yeah, he likes it. Yeah, he likes it. He likes everything bitless. But there have been times when we haven't been able to go bitless with him because they were learning. Same like Stella. She, she's pretty... They haven't worked their way through it yet. It's hard for me because I like my kids to be all matchy and look pretty and have their hair brushed. And they don't want to. It's not as important to them. My oldest son said to me the other day when we showed up at their house and my girls had super messy hair. They're, he's like, when we were little, you made us have like... Our hair had to be perfect. We always had to wear like really nice clothes and your girls look like slobs. Okay, he didn't actually say that, but that's kind of what he meant. And it's true, they do. Lots of times look like slobs. And it's because I've relaxed and I realize life is too short and it takes me six hours to brush their hair because they can't even get the brush through it. I remember so many times we've gone for trail rides and it's been so stressful because Gabby's been nervous because it was a new thing for her and Storm. No, or Sophie nervous. was nervous because uh, Sabrina was uh, anxious to eat the grass. I yeah, like that nervous. one time I fell off when Sabrina ate the grass. Not yeah. And then now it just feels calm and nice and exciting and fun. I just need my own horse so that I can go riding. Also, I have a Sabrina update. Somebody that works at the summer camp that she is at all summer sent me pictures of her oh my gosh every time I see a picture of her my heart squeezes still like to this day just squeezes but I can't wait to show you guys I'm gonna show you when we get home I'll do like a little mini Sabrina update for you guys Stella would not have a problem with that bonnet because she's just that kind of a horse. I was walking down by the pier in a thunderstorm on the same side where we first kissed many odd years ago. I was feeling some kind of wonder when you called my name. Such a happy boy. I just can't get over how happy this guy has been lately. He's just happy. You guys might not know, and I say this all the time, so maybe you do know, but Storm is like a two-year-old. Isn't he like a two-year-old? When he gets bored, oh my god. When he gets bored? He, at the show on Friday, um, the horse camp show, he was bored just standing there. Yeah, like and he has an he attention span of a two-year-old and when he gets bored you have to walk him around you have to hold his hand move him around take him to different places let him look around like he's or like a two-year-old attention which i'm sure will probably just get better as he get ages as he ages but he's pretty darn good two-year-old is he a pretty good darn good two-year-old yeah yeah we love him and i love her too All there is to like wow look at how pretty that grass looks he's getting closer and closer his head is getting lower and lower they're sneaky you guys <laughs> they both will sneak some grass if they can It's nice when cars pull over to the side and they wait for horses. It doesn't happen very often, probably because people just don't know. But it's so it's so considerate and kind. I think the horses really like getting out, going places, doing something new. My heart feels like it's gonna burst sometimes when I see the girls like this. Sometimes girls will message me and say, you know, if I had my own horse, I'd feel so grateful. And it's true because I feel just so grateful. Like I still feel shocked that we actually have horses and I feel so much gratitude. Some people, look at Gabby's horse. 
He's having his snack. He has it on the ground. Uh, some people have been saying, wow, you guys are so lucky you got nice, gentle horses. But it was not luck, let me tell ya. Right, Stormy Boy? We had one criteria when we bought our horses. Okay, well, we had a lot of criteria, but the number one criteria we had when we bought horses was they had to be safe. They had to be kid-friendly. They had to be safe. Um, so it was not luck. It was months of hard, laborious looking for horses oh, every single day. Trying horses, risking our kids' lives in some cases, trying mean. to find horses until we found the right horses for us. He's a meanie. The, he whacked me in the face. <laughs> did he whack you? The, the gentle horses. Look at my face. Look at my face. <laughs> He's like, give me more carrots. <laughs> Today it seems like it's been all about Storm. But it's all about Stella too. Some people were wondering how Stella's doing. And she's doing well. I am worried about the weight. It's not coming off. So that's a, that's a concern. I think, like the vet said, that her issues will uh, decrease slightly, be a little better when she's thinner. Alright, let's go. Let's clean these puppies up and take them down. Carrot. What? Can I get Stella another carrot? No, they were all bad and she can't have any more. Come on, Gabby. Time to put your horse away. Horses before yes. phones. The guys have their bikes, so they're going to take the horses down. All right, you're, she's ready to go anyway, Gabby. Girls will take their horses down and then I will clean up because that's what moms do. I'll clean the barn because if I ever want to get out of here, then it means me cleaning the barn now so that we can all be ready when they get back. Bye, guys. See you Thursday. Before I forget, I want to tell you guys that um, a girl that is a counselor um, working at the camp that Sabrina goes to uh, messaged me a couple days ago and she gave me this amazing update. She said that Sabrina is doing really well. They call her Brie. Um, they, everybody there loves her. She's doing really, really well. Um, she told me this story about how when she first started, or when Sabrina first went back, um, they would go to get her out of the, the, the field and Sabrina would not go up to the barn with them. Does it sound familiar that she would just would not go? She did that to us too. When she first came to us, do you guys remember how we could not get her to go up from the barn to the arena? We thought it was because we were doing something wrong. It was probably just because she was settling in and that was just her thing. But anyway, now she's completely over it. Just like she got over it with us. But I thought that was a funny story. But anyway, she's doing well and that makes me happy. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.